What's up, everyone? It's Forgotten Circus. So um, let's talk about Blade. Is this move ever going to get made? I don't know. I guess it's the era of uh, reshoots, reboots, rewrites, stalactites, and stalagmites. Because by the time this movie gets done, we're going to have new stalactites and stalagmites. I don't even know if that makes sense. It's it's We're going to be old, put it that way. Uh, yeah, Mahersh Ali still signed on. Now they've um, found another writer, and it could possibly be delayed to 2026. Wasn't this movie announced uh, the same time as The Eternals? The Eternals have come and gone. The Funko Pops have been thrown away. I don't know what Marvel Studios is doing. It was so long ago they announced him, like, we have something special for you, and he put on the hat, remember the Blade hat, or Mahersh Ali, and it's like, uh, why am I saying his name correctly for what? Good for me. Way to go, Circus. But Mahersha Ali, right? So, um, I don't know. He, it must. It, there must be something about it. must be a passion project. Because for a two-time Academy Award winner, I would have walked a long time. Probably two years ago. This movie, this movie almost is going to be a darn decade by the time they even start filming. And that's kind of facts. You know? So... Now they've hired a new writer, another writer. The first script everybody probably knows was 60 pages or whatever. They got another writer on board. Um, there are people attached like Mia Goth, uh, rumored Jared Leto. And yeah, let me get into that. So if you're going to do this and you want to eventually do the Midnight Suns, this movie is very important. You probably should speed load this. See, when you started that whole multiverse saga, which I'm not a fan of, not if it's cool to see certain people, I get it, certain actors that you fan castings and then you get to see them in the multiverse and stuff and people get that's cool. But it's you pumped out so much and then it was getting oversaturated kind of and then you come out with the multiverse and then it gets all confusing. You're confusing people focus on what your Earth 616, Earth 818, whatever. Let's start. Let's end the multiverse. Let's end it. We've had enough multiverse stuff, and I know it has to lead into Secret Wars, but after that, it's it's let, let's end it. It's, it's too much for people. You got stuff going all over the place, and no one can stay focused on the main characters because you're bringing so many other characters that are the same characters, that character. It's confusing, Marvel. And I'm starting to lose faith in Kevin Feige. And, and I know that they have stated in a lot of the meetings that they're going to slow everything down to TV shows and, and all that. And, and what, what really puzzles me within Loki, and I'm going to get back to blade because I got to talk about Marvel. What puzzles me in Loki is he corrected all the timelines and, and like pulled them in, but we still have the multiverse. So you see, like, I know what you're me being a comic book person, knowing about superheroes. I know what you mean. But the regular people that don't read comic books, like comic books right now are laying dormant. They don't understand it. These are superheroes, fictional characters. Stop making it so hard for people to understand. I I don't get it. And so now Blade is getting written. Now is possibly getting um, what put back to or pushed back to 2026 now. What is, so, what is so hard about this movie? I don't understand. Everybody, all right, even the younger people, um, like, uh, you know, my, my friends have kids. I have kids, you know. My friends have kids. And when you bring up, like, Blade or something, like, oh, Blade, Blade, Blade. But you, usually when they're younger, you don't want to show them, like, especially the first movie, Blade, you know. But they know about they know about Blade. It's like this this lore about Blade and Wesley Snipes, you know. And so people know about it. Why are you making this so difficult? Uh, literally a 14 year old kid that can do some art and knows how to write could write this script for you. You don't have to do much with blade. We got it. He's the day Walker half vampire. He could turn at any time. He was tech. Well, not half vampire. He's born a vampire, but his mom wasn't, you, you know, this. everybody knows the story. It's not that complicated to do this people to write this. The most complicated part is probably going to be the action. 
And we know that you're going to CGI a lot of it. Because by the time we see, literally by the time we see Mahershala Lee, he's going to be 71 years old looking like Danny Glover in leather. He's, he's, I mean, granted, he still looks good for his age. But we don't know when the aging process is going to step in. And I know you can do a lot with makeup. But then you're going to take away he's getting a lot older. And I'm not saying the boy ain't in shape because he's definitely in shape. And I, I think it's he could probably do it till he's 65. He's one of those that he just really doesn't age. Because you look at early in his career, he kind of looks younger now, which is crazy. I don't know, Mahershala Ali. You may have the secret. Let us know. But it, it's the fact of it's it's not that complicated to make a Blade movie. It's a daywalker that was born. His mom was bit. He was born. He had the the you know um what are the, the thirst, and then Whistler found a way to contain it. And they uh, he something happened to his family. He lost his mom. He takes him under his wing, trains him, and then they go on all these adventures together to basically get revenge and eradicate all the vampires. What is so hard about that? Blade was really, look at all the Blade. Let, let's talk about all the Blades. Was the story really that great? No, you just wanted to see this guy kill vampires. So you can do this whole snip, snippets there and there, backstories and stuff real quick. It's not that hard. Because how many, as you look at Wesley Snipes' Blade, right? He had lines, but he didn't have a lot of lines. He was more stoic, and that's how Blade is. He don't have to talk. He brings it. So you don't have to write that many lines for Blade because Blade does everything with his action. That's what we want to see. You bring the other characters in, like Mia Goth. She's probably going to play a vampire. Build those stories around it and then show the fear of Blade. I don't understand why this is so complicated to make. Or right. Like, it everything's there. If we want to know about story in this movie, I mean, you do have to add dialogue. You do have to add uh, backstory and stuff like that in this movie. I get it. But people kind of know what Blade's about. And, we, and let's be honest. Let's be really honest. Do we watch Blade for the story or we watch it for the action? It's one of those movies that just can get away with that. Because the, the character... It's so incredible, and then you open up a whole new universe, and I really think they're pushing it back because they want to see how these R movies are doing in Marvel, like Deadpool, and I know it's still tied with, what, uh, 20th Century and Sony's in the mix and all that, so everybody's like, it's definitely not a Marvel movie. Uh, yeah, it is, because it's a Marvel character, and they're, they're absor Marvel's absorbing all of it, so yeah, it is. So those writers and everything like that that you're saying, no, they're, they're over there, so it's not Marvel, it, they're going to get absorbed. Let's be honest. If you know anything about the movie industry, that that's what's going to happen. So I I don't want to hear that either. You know that's that's an excuse. That's an excuse for failures. Because that's the thing. So like Craven and all that and all those Marvel properties. See, it's cool over there when it fails. But um, once they put Marvel on it, they do have their people there. They're all united. Okay, Sony, 20th Century Fox, and all that. They're doing the merger. They've been doing this for a while. Okay, so. Um, we want to see, it's not that complicated. You're getting all these writers, writers leaving one actor left, this actor left and all. What is the problem here? Just write a script. You go, for, you go from the original blade, take stuff from there. You go from the comic books, take stuff from there, merge them. This isn't that hard. I'm not a writer, but I definitely could, um, probably figure it out. So. It's complicated because if this gets pushed back gee, uh, to 2026, it's going, people are going to lose interest. And then, so you do 2026 Blade, then you got um, uh, Kit Harrington's The Black Knight. So now, now you have to, you have more than enough time to put Kit Harrington's Black Knight in there because you can't just set that up in Eternals and say, "Are you ready for, are you ready for that, Mr. Whitman?" And then just do nothing with it because that's the problem. You guys hint at stuff and do nothing with it. Marvel, Kevin Feige, and the writing team. So now you got to bring him in there. I don't know if you're going to do a mid movie after. He's going to need more because you got to tie this in because Blade, you could be doing Blade 1. We'll do a Midnight Suns, Blade 2. Midnight Suns come to help. Um, 
because obviously you're not going to do a lot more with those characters. I don't know with uh, with Morbius and all that because obviously Morbius is on the Midnight Suns. He's probably going to that's a, a, probably going to have an altercation with uh, with Blade. So we'll see where that goes. I uh, just do the first movie, get Black Knight in there somewhere so we're refreshed because you hinted at it in Eternals and darn near everybody when it, are you ready for that whip? Uh, Mr. Whitman, you saw the ebony blade with the souls going through. It looks so cool. But you know what? Regular people <clears throat> do not know what that is. They don't. Only comic book people and the people that are in ser- superheroes, because they're you got two different audiences. You got the lore audience, people that know the books and stuff like that. And then you got people that are just going in there and be like, wow, this is amazing. What is this? Who's that guy? Who is that guy? You're getting more of those who's that guy because everything's so vague. And then us being comic book people, we have to explain it to them. So we're doing half of the work for you, by the way. So we got you. So we can make this real easy, Marvel and Kevin Feige. Real easy. Okay? We'll explain all that stuff. Just make the darn movie. Get the Make the Blades. Make Midnight Suns. And then you can start with your... Then the R universe is already starting. With a lot of it, I'm I'm pretty sure the Punisher's coming out, Daredevil, all those things are going to be R, you know. So, what do what do we what are we doing? Are we waiting and doing this and pushing back to see how the other R movies are doing or going to do? Let me tell you something. You could release Blade at any time, really, because we are everybody already knows what Blade's about. It's definitely R. It's and that's cool. It may be one of your more successful R movies because you've taken so long. And then people like, and then you want to bring Wesley Snipes back in for that the multiverse thing so people can see Blade again. But are, there's going to be so many people. How do you explain Blade? I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know. I, I hope this movie gets made. I was really, really on board with this, but I'm getting kind of skeptical and worried that this project may never happen. So it's like they're dangling that carrot, you know? They, they need to get that. They, they need to just get this movie out. Like, OK, if you want to push it back to 2026. But I, we need to get to the point where we have all of our writing team. This is a very important, a very, very important point. We have all of our writing team, right? Have all of them. Everything set in motion. I'm not going to believe this until I see it's in pre-production. I don't want to go. I, we, it's been green lighted for like 19,000 years. So you can't put the green light on there. It has to be pre-production. I want to see some stills, some shots, and then I'll believe. It was supposed to come out in November 2025. Now possibly, who knows, 2026 or 2149. I mean, by the time they get this, Blade might may be fighting replicants in Blade Runner. So, uh, I don't know. I'm really passionate about I love Blade. I love the comic book character. I love the... The story behind him, the lore, we don't, we don't need it. You guys are trying to make it kind of make, make a mountain out of molehill there, man. Just, just do it. But that's all I got. Tell me what you think. Um, are you worried about that? This project? Do you want to see blade come out? Everybody knows blade, but is it going to come out? Uh, but I want everyone to like comment and subscribe. All you got to do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's just a little click. Put on your notifications, and uh, I want everyone to subscribe, and I do mean everyone. Hey!